In today's video I'm going to talk about some of the new things of the latest update from Lumion, Lumion 11.5. My name is Katarina Magalhães-Zani, let's see. So welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. Today is going to be a short video just to talk a little bit about a few things of the newest update from Lumion, Lumion 11.5 and I'm using the Lumion Pro version, okay? So not a lot of things. I'm going to put the actual release notes from the, from the, the Lumion team about all the updates they have some improvements uh, of course they like they always do in every update but a, a lot of things a lot of the new features has to do with new models okay so if you're garden design a landscaper or a landscape architect uh, maybe you, you use some of their human characters etc so you have quite a lot of cutouts new cutouts uh, and they're really good quality ones uh, in terms of objects it's a lot of retro indoors objects like you can see here so you know maybe the bike um, is going to be the coolest thing you're going to see for uh, the use in the outdoors um, but of course, you can always, you know, if you have, uh, if you like to do your rendering with a certain ambience and thing like this, it's always important. The more the merrier, of course. But not nothing in terms of planting, nothing new in terms of planting or um, specific outdoor stuff. Okay. Um, uh, just a, another thing, they have a few tweaks, and you know, just that they tweaked a little bit to improve. Uh, I wanted to to show you to just to. Um, to point out the the clay plane okay so you have here um because in our um clips uh, particles effects like fountains and stuff like this if you remember if you put some uh, smoke or something going on if you use the clay plane the smoke will always appear anyway so now it cuts so that's cool uh, it's just a few things like this um that i think it's important um nature um grass cluster no longer distorted by the wind so a few things like this that you know you might not see it straight away when you do the update there is just little tweaks but you know in the overall it's important uh, to um to really improve the program okay and now you can uh, another thing is uh, by clicking x um in the application uh, when you're doing your renderings okay uh, we'll now pause with the option to continue the rendering or stop you know it doesn't stop automatically so you don't do it by mistake okay you can now you have the option you want to stop or you want to continue okay um you have a blueprint is now possible um to align with the elements of my, I, I don't normally use it. Um, the photo matching effect, I don't normally use it as well. So if you use it, you know, um, you can now cancel it while a a editing the effect and restore all the settings. Um, so, and just the, the thumbnail, uh, the, the, the bigger or smaller thumbnails, the, it changed place. Uh, so just a few tweaks uh, like this um probably the 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 one you're going to use the most are the new 3d characters uh, so let's go and check it out uh the new characters you go into people um let's see where they are they are static characters uh, so you have this new don't forget you can always come here this is a trick i do all the time that i learn from another youtuber the thing is it says new, but it's new from 11, okay? Every time they do it in Lumion 10, Lumion 11, it's new from then, okay? It's not new from the latest update, okay? But you have these cutouts, they are static, but they are really good quality. You know, they look amazing, okay? So if you use, if you, if you use a lot of things like this, and uh, I don't, um, but if you do in your projects, they look amazing. They are so good quality, the the cutouts, the the 3D characters. Don't forget, they are. Look at this. They look really, really realistic. Of course, you never do this close up, but you know it looks amazing. Let's go in here. You know it doesn't change the shadow. In the okay, it changes here with the. Okay, so it changes the shadow in the face. That looks pretty good. Let's go and check out some more. 
So you have quite a lot of, of them. Um, I'm pretty sure some of them we had previously, so I'm just not sure which ones are, uh, you know, the, 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 always the, this is, they are not, so this is, we already had these ones, the moving ones. Uh, the, the giveaway, it's always the eyes, isn't it? Um, trust me, if you go to some other programs, uh, you see some characters, they have some really freaky eyes. But these ones, they look really good. They look really, really good. I'm really impressed. So this is good news if you use a lot of 3D characters in your renderings. Really good news. Let me just uh, delete this one that's moving. So as you can see, all the static ones, they're really, really good quality ones. So I'm really happy with that. Let's go and check it out. Some of that retro furniture thing. Again, the trick is, you know, going to new. Of course, as you can see here, it's new from the 11.0 update because some of this we already had. Um, like I'm pretty sure we had maybe not this candle. I think this is new. But we had other stuff that are in here, uh, like these ones we had previously from the other versions of 11. But as you can see, you have this retro stuff now. Um, you know, if you do a lot of in with interior uh, renderings, um, it's okay. Uh, I'm not going to use this for sure. Um, maybe if it's a weird project coming up that I need this, but you know, you can illustrate this. But if you're working with the indoors a lot, uh, this is pretty cool. Again, all retro stuff, okay? So, but in terms of planting, nothing new in there. I will leave the, the as you can see, the new ones are the ones from 11 um, update. So it's all the weed stuff. Um, but if you want to check out the release notes, please do. There are some, uh, quite a few tweaks um, in terms of... Um, uh, the like I've said, the, the clip planes, it's cool. Um, uh, they have quite a, a lot of tweaks that they explain here in the notes. Um, you know, some of them you're not going to notice straight away, um, but uh, it's good if you if you really use uh, Lumion professionally. It's really good if you want to check it out. Okay, uh, so. Not a lot of things in the new update. Um, I think the characters are the best thing, to be honest, especially if you're using, um, if you use uh, a lot of characters in your renderings. They look amazing, amazing. I'll do a couple of renderings with that characters for the end of this video. See you guys in the next one.